go. No, 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 no. skip intro. Skip intro. <laughs> When I was thinking about the idea of this, um, it started in grad school and I had approached Robert Jokey, who is the executive director here at the Rust Belt. He also had always thought, wouldn't it be cool to do something on stage that was serialized? How do we do it? I had put together a script bible, um, episode descriptions, and we knew we wanted it to be centered in Youngstown centered around the typical um, Youngstown resident. Yeah! He lost his wife's new keychain, so he sent Ronnie a thousand dollars to send him a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how much they are now? <laughs> <laughs> It just centers all around the idea that there is a single mother uh, living with her daughter in, in Youngstown, Ohio, and she also has to deal with two feuding neighbors who are not fans of each other, but sort of two sides of the same coin. She also has to uh, contend with her daughter's best friends who are just as wacky and fun as everybody else in this play, and then uh, she becomes good friends with one of the feuding neighbor's girlfriends along the time. And it's just a really fun way of looking at whether or not a person can actually build a life in Youngstown or whether or not they're just stuck there for reasons unknown or whether or not they truly just love living there. My character's name is Roos Tomlin. He is the next door neighbor of uh, the main character, Ronnie Hudson. He is the gay next door uh, neighbor of Ronnie and he is her best friend in the neighborhood. Roos wants everybody to feel like they can confide in each other. Roos is described as eccentric by a lot of people. He likes to do things with a flair and I just sort of tried to give that a realistic edge rather than play him up as somebody who's just there to be the center of attention all the time. So Gina's the the dark, moody, um, just kind of state the facts kind of kind of character. Gina and Kelsey are like the two polar opposites. Dynamic comedy of of being two polar opposites and being so close. I had to buy a whole new wardrobe because I don't dress like this on a day-to-day -day basis. I had to buy this makeup and just putting it on really got me into being Gina, being someone who's who's much less <laughs> expressive than, than I am. In between the act breaks of Stuck, you're getting live commercials. If you like this one, you can edit at our tips stick Derma Graphics in Boardman on Market Street or check out their Facebook or Instagram pages. My formulations are writing slightly different than theirs mm -hmm. because I um, am writing only the advertisement part. A lot of the advertisers that we're using are, are people that are actually sponsoring the event, the, the project itself. Like, they're, they're members of the community that have constantly supporting the Youngstown, you know, the, the Rust Belt Theater, constantly supporting this. I don't believe you. Mm, I'll give it away, genius. Well, you didn't yell at me for barging in your house, for one thing. Everything just feels so familiar, yet it's so fun and entertaining at the same time that it sort of feels just like home. At the beginning, we do a last time on stuff. It's pretty easy to understand what the characters are about, what the story's about. It's about being stuck in Youngstown, and this is just something that's zany, that's fun, that's enjoyable. Each episode kind of stands alone in its storyline. You'll still be able to follow along with the story of, of that episode and meet the characters and know who they are. 